Emily. And I'm James, but I'm not really in this one, <laughs> so I'll see you later. Well, so remember we made a video a while ago about I wrote a graduation speech and I couldn't give it because I graduated in July, et cetera, et cetera. But I thought, wait, I have YouTube. I have another outlet. So I thought I'd give everyone else my graduation speech. But please excuse my voice because I have no choice because I have allergies that make me sneeze and sound all stuffed up. But enough of that. Let's check the date because it's time to graduate. I represent museum education. No, it's not curation or registration. Instead, it inspires and engages men and women of all ages in cultural institutions across the nation through, you guessed it, education. We're all partners in this cause, whether it's changing laws or changing lives. What drives us all is encouraging the youth to explore the truth about who they are, what they can be, as they strive to be successful like you and me. Informal or formal, what's the difference? We all have the same goal, so let's come to our senses. Even if we've never met before, I know, way down to my core, that we can all work together and not stay tethered to those systematic quirks that keep us siloed in our networks. Break the cycle, buck the trend, turn around and make a new friend because that person has the same desire as you to tackle the system and change education anew. But we're only as strong as our weakest link, so take a second, stop and think. Museum, international, elementary ed, early childhood rehab, did you hear what I said? Don't believe me? Then listen to this and kiss goodbye your previous premonitions about partnerships and collaborations. I interned at a middle school last fall where a group of kids couldn't read at all. So I made an audio tour and took them to a museum where they had a discussion that I could not have fathomed. I took them to see a real piece of the World Trade Center wreckage that moved them to the point of sounding like sages. These kids who couldn't read at all were introduced to something real and made them feel part of history and herstory and the rest of the national conversation. That's just one example from which there are ample and as the, together as the class of 2011, we can make more prevalent and start a movement that inspires the public to revamp the system. So you see, it's all cyclical that starts right here as a ripple, grows into a wave as we pave the path for the next generation to have access to free and excellent education. I can't wait to see what y'all do next, and I hope museums can be part of that trek. So congratulations, Mazel Tov. It's now my time to sign off. That was it. What did you think? How did I do? <laughs> Graduation weekend. Bye.